Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for joining me today. I greatly appreciate it. Ooh, I'm excited. Oh yeah, new people. Hi, yarn channel, knitting, crocheting. I like to have fun with yarn. It's a thing, it's nothing bad, it's just, it's how I de-stress, it's how I let out my creative energy, and I get into crafting trouble, I'm not gonna lie, because, you know, I overcommit myself, but that's okay. It's yarn, it's fine, it's fine. You make a mistake, you pull it out. Not a big deal. Well, I'm excited today. I'm excited most days, right? You know, because I get to talk about yarn and knitting and crocheting and all the things and the antics along with it that happens, because it does. I got a bag. I've been stuck in this bag. Oh, we know what this is. Oh, we do. Look at that. Now, I have been stocking. This is this is half of my order. The other half will be in when it gets in. I'm not worried about it. So, I have been stocking this particular yarn for quite some time. Uh, but you know, I do mental gymnastics in my head when it comes to buying yarn. It is the weirdest thing ever. It's it's like location makes a difference. You know, in one place, I have no problem spending $12 for a thing of yarn, right? A hank of yarn, a skein of yarn, a ball of yarn, however it's wound up and presented. You know, in other places, I'm like, oh no, I'm not going to do that. It's, it's the weirdest thing. It's like, you literally just spent that on something else. And then you thought it was such a good deal. You got four of them or, you know, something crazy like that. So that's what I did with Hobby. They have some yarn that, like I said, I have been stocking for a while and I've been waiting for the appropriate sale, right? Whatever that means, right? Because Hobby, just like so many other places, always have a sale on something. Now, it might not be your something. It might not be the thing that you absolutely love because again, we all have different tastes in yarn. Um, but uh, what I was waiting for was, you know, what I thought was a decent enough sale. Ta-da! I did it! I got it! Yeah, I'm happy. All right. So, shall I rip in? Ooh, it rips in nice. So this was um, kind of stuck in my mailbox, you know, so I'm hoping that the bottom skein is okay. And again, this is half my order. And I'm not going to lie, when I felt the balls of yarn through the bag, because you can clearly feel the yarn, I'm like, those aren't as big as I thought they were going to be. Yeah, I understand. I can look at things and going, that's a worsted weight. And this is a number, you know, worsted weight number four. This is this many yards. This is this many grams. That's, you can guesstimate how big the ball is going to be, but I don't think we always do that. So I was expecting larger than this. But that feels great. This is the Manaya um, by Hobby. It is a worsted weight. It's Okotech Standard uh, 100. It is worsted weight number four. Got to turn it up. 65% wool, 35% acrylic, 200 grams, 510 meters. So yardage is 558. Okay, that does that feels good. All right, I'm not feeling the heavy wool content since it's got 65% wool. To me, that does not have that heavy, heavy um, wool feeling to it. Here. Before I get into that any further, I will show you. It's like I've got these here, cake-wise. I'm gonna compare the size of the cakes too. Like this is a Nora 100% wool. I like wool. I like the way wool feels. This is a rougher wool, but again, I like the way wool feels. So there you go. Um, so this is 200 grams also. So maybe I shouldn't have. This is less yardage, 400 meters, so a little over 400 yards. Okay, I'm just wanting to compare. I obviously had a weird sense of what I thought the balls were going to look like, but I'm actually kind of happy that it's not as big as I was thinking they would be because, well, you know, space. And let me try this one. Okay, so I was thinking it would be more like the color burst on size, but I guess... They're not, I mean, they're not far off from each other. They're both beehive put-ups. That's what they call this. Um, I don't know if the color burst, if you can still get it, if it's a discount. Okay, the color burst is also a 65% superwash merino, 35% acrylic. It has 660 yards for the 200 grams. 
and what I just bought is 558 yards. So slightly thicker, and not a lot thicker, but slightly thicker. And yeah, the size isn't really a, a huge difference. So, you know, I'm just crazy. But I just want to check them out. I like the way this feels. Oh, color-wise, color. What color is it? This, this is color eight. So I got, has another one. Oh, look how pretty. And let's see, and I got another one. <laughs> these are fun. Oh my goodness. I'm liking that. Are these all the same ones? Because I, yep. So look at those. Oh my goodness. I, I really like it. That is pretty. So I have well over 2,000 yards of this. Easy to make a um, full size cable, heavily cabled sweater if that's what I wanted to go with. Um, but I was originally planning on crocheting with this. And again, I got half my order in. I did not get all of it in yet. Um, so let's see what else I got. So I got those. I'm going to set that down. Now I'm making a mess. I got yarn fingers. Yarn fingers. <laughs> I'm a dork. I get it. Okay. And this one, I'm losing a label. My yarn ball is coming undressed. We can't have that now, can we? Mm -mm. That might be considered naughty. A little risque, would you say? You know, an undressed yarn ball. Ooh. Okay. So this, this one is color seven. It's the same yarn. And look how pretty that is. So these are the two colors that I got. And I got uh, four of these also, if it's, if I really have four of them in this bag. Yeah, I do. I do have all four of them. I do, I do. And there's one more thing down there. Okay. Oh, that one's trying to get naked too. <gasps> Sad, scandalous, but look at those. Those are big. Okay. So, you know, get over your fact that it's not as big as I thought they were. They are quite large. It's the same size as the other ones. I don't know why I was thinking it was bigger, but look at these. How much fun is that going to be to play with? I mean, if you're going to have fun, have fun with the yarn. That's right. So that's those. Um, these are normally on the hobby website, $29. And I just didn't want to go there. I, I, I hadn't uh, felt it before. I hadn't seen it in person before, but the way that the color showed up, it just looked so bright, so beautiful, so just gorgeous. I really wanted some, but I didn't want to do the $29 and the shipping and everything else. And, you know, I ordered enough that I don't think I had to pay shipping on top of it. But, um, you know, I just, again, we have our quirks and that was mine. I wasn't willing to do the 29. They were on sale 50% off. I got them for $14.50. And then I might have gotten a few more than I needed, being that, you know, I got four of each of those colors. Uh, and it's interesting because I don't think I realized that this, beautiful, was also 65% um, wool, 35% acrylic. I mean, I knew it, but I, wow, look at that. Oh, that's pretty. That goes well, doesn't it? Oh, sidetrack. It's okay. It's fine. It's just, it's what I do. Um, but yeah, this is another one. And you know, uh, yeah, I don't know what I was thinking because I'm pretty sure I have, do I have enough of this one? I have more up there. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Cause what I was thinking of doing with this one is what I'm thinking of doing with this. And I don't know. I'm going to do something. It, it's, it's, I can't let it languish, right? I mean, these are pretty. I can't, I can't let this languish. And let's see, you know, I think this to me on the website looked brighter. Maybe I'm just complaining. I'm just in a complaining mood, I guess. I don't know. I've got yarn. Shut up and be happy, woman. You've got yarn fingers. See, got yarn fingers. Be happy. Uh, so I'm not really sure. Again, I didn't get all of my order. So maybe the other ones that I'm thinking of are, you know, still in transit. Who knows? It's still nice. It's beautiful. And look at that. I mean, there you go. If you don't like wool, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't do that. That, that would make you break out in hives or something. Not me. That's nice. Yeah. I mean, even the sensitive part of the neck, you know, it's like, oh, that, that feels good. That's nice. <laughs> and then I get, I, I was planning on just getting this and, and everything, but you know, I had something else that kind of jumped into my car. I didn't need it. And this is what got stuck in the pinched in the mailbox but it seems to be okay this is silly socks flower 
and it is a patterned, a self-striping patterned sock yarn. Um, I haven't used this one either, and it was on sale for six something. I mean, I don't have, ooh, there's candy. I got candy. Uh, but this was on sale for six something. I think it's normally 13, 14. Don't really remember offhand. There's not an invoice in here, so it's okay. Um, this is Silly Sock Flower Pop. 75% wool, 25% polymade. This is a number one fingering weight yarn. Oh yeah, it's fingering, isn't that pretty? Uh, this is 400 meters, 437 yards, using uh, for knitting, using a two to a four. I find that interesting. So I would use that size to make garments. You know how I've done um, like this, my, my granddaughter's dress, right? Yeah, I got everything stacked over here. But my granddaughter's dress. This is a sock yarn also. Now, I've never made socks with this particular brand, but it is a one number one fingering branded sock yarn, right? I mean, fingering weight, sock weight is just this size. It doesn't mean you have to make socks with it. We know that. It's just a size determination. Um, so on this, I use fours. Right. So for the garment type thing, I would definitely use the fours for a shawl going up to five sixes, something along that line. You want that drape, that open. I wouldn't do a shawl with this particular colorway, uh, but you could. You can do anything you want. It's your yarn. You buy it. You do whatever you want to with it. There are no rules. You make up the rules. You're the boss. That's right. I said it. You're the boss. So. I should pull up a picture of what this one shows when it's worked up. That's what got me. I liked the, the striping with it. And then um, this with these dots and everything, what that does is it gives a very color work look, a fair aisle look and patterns on its own. And it makes it look really cool. Like you did a lot more work than you did. So you can go stocking it around and around and around and around. Oh, you know, you can crochet socks too, right? There are patterns for crocheted socks. I have... Um, tried to do a couple of them and they were very tedious for me, right? We, we all have different things. But if you are a crocheter and you want to make socks, you do not have to be left out in the cold. By all means, make crocheted socks. Um, I've tried it. And crocheted booties, I mean, come on, let's face it. When you're crocheting booties for kids and stuff like that, crocheted booties, I would rather do the crocheted ones than the knit. And we know I can do both because I have skills and you do too. Don't you sell yourself short. You know you have skills. Um, so, yeah, it's just yarn. We do different things with it. Why? I don't know. Because we can. Because we're creative. Because we can change our mind. And we can do whatever we want to. Yeah, that's how that goes. Should I show you what I was planning on doing with that? Yeah, I should. Just, I, yeah, just a moment. I'll do that. All right, I had to go get the iPad because, you know, I wanted to show you. So this is the color number eight. And it says right now... Yeah, that's that one. It says right now it's out of stock, so maybe I got the last of them, but that's what this is. So what do you think? I mean, I was like really super bright and everything. I mean, is that as bright to you? It's pretty. It's not as, it's not as in your face as I was expecting, but it's still nice. Okay, so I'm not totally crazy, just slightly off the wall. It's okay. We have our quirks. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I have mine anyway. You might be totally sane. I have had coffee today. It's a thing. Okay. And I didn't have as much as you would think either. I really didn't. All right. We're going to do the naked skein. Okay. So this is number seven. Look at that. And that's what this is. That's All right. Naked skein. Cooperate. I guess if it's going to be naughty and get naked, it's not going to cooperate. You know what I mean? So that's that one. And gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm thinking maybe it's just my iPad and everything. You know, they always say it can look different. Look at different monitors. There you go. That's okay. I still think it's gorgeous. I think this one to me is closer to here than um, that other one, but I will still put them to good use, right? I, it's okay. It's gorgeous yarn. And we're going to try the other one. We're going to look up that sock yarn and show you what that looks like. I think that one is spot on. I mean, we got to look at all, you know, all the stuffs, right? All the stuffs. Yes. All of them. Pretty. There were a couple of them that I thought were really nice. Uh, but I, you know, it's like, no, walk away. You don't need all of them. Crazy lady. So color five is what I got for the sock yarn. And that is here. All right. So the colors are fine. You know what this reminds me of? Where is that? 
Do I have it over here? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of this. All right. This is Cozy Toes, and it's a discontinued yarn, of course. You know how that goes, all the best ones. I mean, different composition, but I'm saying look at the saturated colors on this and how bright that is, right? And it's got the oranges and the purples and stuff. Let me see. Are they the same? And this is definitely lighter, but that's what it reminds me of as far as the picture's concerned, right? That's what I was going for. Um, yeah, it's it's there you know that's what i was more expecting just that vibrant just in your face but that's okay again it could be the the monitor and everything i've not had is issues with any of the other stuff maybe my eyes just looking a little off today that could be could be just me oh i had my eyes examined today doc says i'm doing great and whatever i'm doing keep it up yeah uh no, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. Just an annual, annual exam. But uh, my husband made me go. I didn't want to go. I'm not going to lie. I didn't want to go. I wanted to cancel. I made him fill out my intake form because I didn't want to go. But anyway, my eye doctor's nice. That's not it. I just didn't want to go. Um, but I'm playing with yarn and everything, you know. And they didn't dilate. They didn't do anything else. So, no, it was just like, look at your eyes. Oh, look, they look beautiful. I do all the pictures. They do all that. They, they take lots of pictures of the internal of your eye and then they show you the pictures and, and everything and what they supposed to look. I don't understand. It's just whatever. But they, they said I'm doing fine. So these are my two colors. So we'll see uh, how the other ones come up because I've got more coming and uh, there we go. Oh wait, I didn't tell you what I was looking at doing. That's why I got the iPad. Oh my goodness. I am just all over the place today. That is okay. A little feisty. It's not, I'm not gonna lie. I'm um, yeah, I'm a little feisty right now. <laughs> All right, so here we go. I know I've shown you this one before. Please come up. Stop. Would I recommend this item? Yes, I would, but I don't want to. I don't want to review it right now. I don't want to. I don't want to. Why? Why is it not letting me look? Oh, those are pretty. Hey, sidetrack, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. All right, so it was in that. Where is it? Where is it? It's the um, the crochet jacket, and I know I showed that one to you before. Scramble something. Uh, scramble square jacket. Yay! I'm glad Etsy knew what I was talking about, and I'll bring it up. I just want to review it. I don't want to review it yet. I'd like to, you know, like make a couple squares, right, and then do an honest review. I know, crazy. So this right here is what I was looking at doing. And we talked about it when I first showed it and it's like, wait a minute, I think I have enough of this gorgeous color, but you know, I wanted the, that, man, that is gorgeous. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that just, I wanted the coat of many colors. I wanted the splash, the way out there, you know, like I just showed the pictures for the hobby. And that's why I got this and I got this. And I was thinking that, I don't have to make it all one color. I mean, even if you made it all one color, it's not going to be one color. You know what I'm getting at? That's a lot of colors in there. You know, some of these squares, some of these squares, but see now. I was trying to get the brightest ones. I'm not going to lie. So uh, these don't necessarily match, but hmm, I don't know. I Crazy. Uh, but that was the goal in mind for that right there. Now for my size, I think if I were to use all of one color, Wow, I would need four and a half of these. Of course I got four of each color because I plan on mix and match. Yeah, and that's just how that goes. So I do have other colors coming. Um, we'll see how well they match. The nice thing is, it looks like I can intertwine this with it too if I chose to. So, you know, I've got these three colors. They're all the same composition, you know, as far as that goes. But that was the idea. And now that I have them in person, I like this one the best in person. For this, I, I like them all, right? I mean, come on, it's yarn. Um, but that's what my my plan was. I wanted um, just out there crazy. I even looked at buying that. That is Red Heart um, Melange. Is that what it is? That is that the one that they used? Um, it's one of the Red Heart ones that has that wooly feel, but it's fully acrylic, you know, kind of like a Ferris wheel kind of a feel. I, I like it. I never bought any, but I did like it. I like Ferris wheel. So that was the goal with getting all of this worsted weight yarn 
to make this blanket and to crochet, not blanket, to, you, oh, she's got it where you can crochet blankets too, but to make that and then using the different colors because it's going to stripe and do its own thing and they're going to change where they get placed on the, the jacket anyway. And I wanted the idea of the pops of different colors. This was all um, one color that she used there and you know, it just stripes through because it's beautiful cakes, just like what I've got. That was my goal. Um, so now I have three very distinct, disjointed colors. Huh. How do I do that? I just, yeah. Hmm. This, yeah. That's okay. It's, it's okay. It'll be fine. It, 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 it'll, 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 it'll be fine. It's, yeah, it's okay. And I, I didn't end up getting the cookie yarn. I, um, the cookie was another one that I was interested in. Uh, but the price point with this being 50% off and the cookie wasn't really a decent sale. There's only a couple dollars difference and I really like wool. And I went with this one, obviously, because it's in my hot little hands. Um, the other colors of them, I mean, they're stunning. I, I, I was having a hard time picking the colors that I wanted to pick. I mean, look at that. All those colors. Aren't those gorgeous? I mean, they are so beautiful and so gorgeous and so saturated looking. Uh, I don't remember what other ones that I got. So it's going to be a surprise. But those are the colors that they've got right now. I do know color number 10 was one of them that I wanted, but they didn't have it and it wasn't even listed. So because um, I looked on Ravelry at other people's things, you know, you know how that goes. And it looked really, really bright and fun and cheery. So we'll see. We'll see what comes of all of this gorgeousness. And uh, yeah, I mean, I finally got it. I'm, I'm actually really happy that I finally put in the order. I pushed the button. Uh, that is something that I have wanted for quite some time. And uh, my husband, the enabler that he is, um, kind of kind of egged me on. Let's put it that way. Yeah, he, he egged me on. He was like, what's your problem? Why don't you just get it? Push the button. You can do it, right? He's an enabler. It's true. And look, I got Javi candy. Yes, I did. I did. This is like the coveted candy, right? You know, it's like you get the Javi candy. Yay. Gotta hide it from my husband. Not gonna lie. The last time I talked about the biscotti cookies, after he watched the video, he came in here and like, where's cookie? He got it. I gave it to him. It's how that goes. All right, everybody. I have talked enough about this yarn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play with this or something or contemplate what I'm going to be doing with other things. And, you know, yarn dreams. It's totally yarn dreams. That's how that works. All right, everyone. You guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.